What is a voltage regulator IC, integrated circuit, and how does it function? A voltage regulator IC, integrated circuit, is a type of electronic component used to regulate and stabilize the voltage in an electrical circuit. It ensures that the voltage supplied to a load remains constant, despite variations in input voltage or changes in load resistance. Here's how a voltage regulator IC typically functions. The reference voltage in a voltage regulator IC is a stable and precisely controlled voltage generated internally within the IC. This reference voltage serves as a benchmark against which the output voltage is compared. It is typically designed to be highly accurate and stable over various operating conditions such as temperature, load variations, and input voltage fluctuations. The reference voltage is a crucial component of the feedback mechanism within the voltage regulator IC. By comparing the reference voltage with the actual output voltage, the IC can determine if any adjustment is necessary to maintain the desired output voltage level. The stability and accuracy of the reference voltage are essential for the overall performance of the voltage regulator IC. Any deviation or instability in the reference voltage can lead to inaccuracies in the regulated output voltage, which can affect the proper functioning of electronic devices powered by the regulator. Various techniques are used to generate reference voltages within voltage regulator ICs, including bandgap voltage references, Zener diode references, and temperature compensated voltage dividers. These techniques ensure that the reference voltage remains constant and reliable over a wide range of operating conditions. The error amplifier is a critical component within a voltage regulator IC that compares the reference voltage with the actual output voltage and generates an error signal based on any difference between the two voltages. This error signal is then used to adjust the control element of the voltage regulator to bring the output voltage back into alignment with the reference voltage. Here's how the error amplifier works within a voltage regulator IC. Comparison. The error amplifier continuously compares the reference voltage, which represents the desired output voltage, with the actual output voltage of the regulator. Error signal generation. If the output voltage deviates from the reference voltage, the error amplifier generates an error signal proportional to the difference between the two voltages. This error signal represents the amount by which the output voltage needs to be adjusted to match the desired voltage. Amplification. The error signal is typically amplified to provide sufficient control over the regulator's output. The amount of amplification depends on the design of the voltage regulator IC and the required precision of the voltage regulation. Feedback loop. The error signal is then fed into the feedback loop of the regulator, where it is used to adjust the control element, such as a transistor, that regulates the output voltage. The feedback loop continuously monitors the output voltage and adjusts the control element to minimize the error signal, thereby maintaining the output voltage at the desired level. By continuously comparing the output voltage with the reference voltage and generating an error signal to drive the necessary adjustments, the error amplifier plays a crucial role in ensuring that the voltage regulator IC maintains a stable and precise output voltage despite variations in input voltage and load conditions. The control element in a voltage regulator IC is the component responsible for regulating the flow of current through the circuit in order to adjust the output voltage to match the desired reference voltage. It acts as the valve that controls how much voltage and current are allowed to pass through to the output. The most common type of control element used in voltage regulator ICs is a transistor, typically a MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, or a BJT, bipolar junction transistor. The control element operates in one of two modes, linear, also known as series, regulation, or switching regulation. Linear regulation. In linear regulation, the control element operates in its active region, where it acts as a variable resistor to adjust the voltage drop across it. By changing its resistance, the control element regulates the output voltage. Linear regulators are simple and provide smooth voltage regulation but are less efficient especially when there is a large difference between input and output voltages. Switching regulation. In switching regulation, the control element, usually a MOSFET, operates as a switch, rapidly turning on and off to control the average voltage applied to the load. This is typically done using pulse width modulation, PWM, techniques. Switching regulators are more efficient than linear regulators, especially for applications with large voltage differentials, but they can introduce noise into the output voltage. Regardless of the mode of operation, the control element is driven by the error signal generated by the error amplifier.
The error signal determines how much the control element should adjust the voltage to bring the output voltage in line with the reference voltage. This adjustment is continuously monitored and fine-tuned through feedback mechanisms within the voltage regulator IC to maintain a stable output voltage despite changes in input voltage and load conditions. The feedback loop in a voltage regulator IC is a crucial mechanism that continuously monitors the output voltage and adjusts the control element to maintain a stable and precise output voltage. It ensures that any deviation from the desired output voltage, set by the reference voltage, is corrected promptly. Here's how the feedback loop typically works. Output Voltage Monitoring The output voltage of the regulator is monitored using a feedback network. This network may consist of resistors, capacitors, and sometimes additional components like operational amplifiers. It senses the output voltage and provides feedback to the error amplifier. Error Amplifier Adjustment The feedback network sends information about the difference between the output voltage and the reference voltage established internally or externally to the error amplifier. Based on this feedback, the error amplifier generates an error signal proportional to the deviation of the output voltage from the reference voltage. Control Element Adjustment The error signal is then used to adjust the control element, such as a transistor, in the voltage regulator IC. This adjustment alters the flow of current through the circuit, thereby modifying the output voltage to match the reference voltage. Continuous Monitoring and Adjustment the process described above occurs continuously in a feedback loop. As long as the regulator is powered and active, the feedback loop continuously monitors the output voltage and makes adjustments as necessary to maintain it at the desired level. By providing this continuous monitoring and adjustment mechanism, the feedback loop ensures that the output voltage of the regulator remains stable and accurate, even in the face of variations in input voltage, load conditions, and other environmental factors. It is a fundamental aspect of voltage regulator IC design, contributing to their reliability and performance in various electronic applications. Protection circuitry in a voltage regulator IC is designed to safeguard the regulator and the connected circuitry from potential damage or malfunction caused by various adverse conditions. These conditions may include overcurrent, overvoltage, thermal overload, and short circuits. Protection circuitry enhances the reliability and durability of the voltage regulator and the overall system it powers. Here are some common types of protection circuitry found in voltage regulator ICs. Overcurrent protection. OCP overcurrent protection prevents excessive current from flowing through the regulator and the load, which could lead to overheating and damage. OCP mechanisms may include current sensing circuits that monitor the current passing through the regulator and automatically reduce or shut off the output if it exceeds a safe threshold. Overvoltage protection OVP overvoltage protection guards against voltage spikes or surges that could occur in the input or output of the regulator. OVP circuitry typically includes voltage clamping devices such as Zener diodes or transient voltage suppressors, TVS, that limit the voltage to a safe level. Thermal shutdown protection. Thermal shutdown protection prevents the regulator from overheating by shutting down the device if the temperature exceeds a certain threshold. This feature is critical for preventing damage to the regulator and the surrounding components due to excessive heat buildup. Reverse polarity protection. Some voltage regulator ICs incorporate reverse polarity protection to prevent damage caused by connecting the input voltage with the wrong polarity. Reverse polarity protection circuits typically include diodes or MOSFETs that block current flow when the input voltage is reversed. Short circuit protection. Short circuit protection prevents damage to the regulator and the load in the event of a short circuit. It typically involves current limiting mechanisms or circuitry that detects excessive current flow and quickly shuts down the output to prevent damage. Under voltage lockout, UVLO undervoltage lockout prevents the regulator from operating when the input voltage falls below a certain threshold. This feature helps avoid unreliable operation or damage to the regulator when the input voltage is too low to maintain proper regulation. By incorporating these protection features, voltage regulator ICs provide robust protection against a wide range of potential hazards, ensuring the safety and reliability of the electronic systems they power. Overall, a voltage regulator IC ensures that the output voltage remains stable and within specified limits, regardless of variations in input voltage or changes in load conditions. This makes them essential components in a wide range of electronic devices, from simple battery-powered gadgets to complex power supply systems.